Hello and welcome to this quick training. My name is Marshall Malava, and in this video, I'm going to show you six ways to launch your online course. Uh, maybe I should just mention right from the start, there are so many different ways to launch your online course, but these are the six ways that I've seen are the most effective, the most commonly used ways um, that have helped some of my clients actually get results. But also I have seen so many different entrepreneurs and course creators using these methods, and some people have made millions using these methods. So I want to show you only what is actually working out there. So without wasting much time, let's just jump straight into it. The first one is beta or founding members launch. Um, just by reading that already, when you talk about beta or you talk about founding members, beta, it refers to you're testing it out. You're trying to figure out whether this really works. And then founding members talks about you are working with the very first people and usually founding members get specific benefits. So you want to actually launch a course like that. And so you don't need to fully create your course before you launch it when you're using this uh, method. A lot of people make the mistake of actually creating a course and it always takes time. It takes effort. For example, let's just say it takes you maybe two or three months to create your course. After they create the course, they then try and sell their course. But that's actually a, best, a bad way of, of trying to launch your course because what if no one buys your course? You won't get back those two months that you spent trying to create your course. So the idea is to sell your course and then if people buy it, you go ahead and then create it. In other words, you are selling your course before you actually create it. And this foundation can be used for all the following launch strategies that I will cover. So I actually wanted to talk about this right from the start. You can use that method of actually selling the course first, and then you then create it after people have actually bought. And simply to how does that work? You sell the course today and tell them that you're going to release the course maybe in two weeks time. That two week period will actually give you the time to actually start creating the course. So the benefit of this method is that you don't need a big audience. You don't need to have thousands of followers. You don't need to have hundreds of people uh, on your email list. You need to have a small audience. You can start off with as little as, let's say, maybe five people. If you have more than that, it's, it's actually better. Let's say you can have 10 people, 30, 100. But as low as five people, you start working with them. You sell your course to those five people. And why is it important to start off with the with a small audience. The idea is to work with a small number of people, right? You want to help them to get results. You want to help them to get results. When you're helping them to get those results, you will also be making a bit of money in the process, right? Why is that important? It's gonna help you to figure out the content you should include in your course. You wanna start off with a small number of people, you charge them for the course. Let's just say you work with 10 people at the start, you charge them for your course, you get a bit of money from those 10 people. Those 10 people are going to help you to figure out what is the actual content that should be in your course that other people in the future are actually going to be willing to pay for. And then once you work with those people, you get them results, people are happy, people are smiling. You then use the testimonials that they give you, right? Plus the money that you got from selling to those few people to then launch your course again. But this time you're launching with testimonials and you're launching with money in your pocket, meaning that you then now can do a big launch to a wider audience. And so the way that this works is that you just invite your current audience to join your course, but at a discounted price. For example, you don't have a big audience. Maybe you just, maybe a few people around you know that you actually do what it is that you do you have an idea of creating a course. You reach out to that small audience and tell them, hey guys, I'm, I'm looking forward to creating a course about ABC, whatever that is the result that you're gonna help them to get. I'm gonna be selling this course at $1,000, right? But I am looking for just people who are gonna start off with me. And if you decide to sign up with me now, I'm gonna charge you maybe $200, right? You tell that to your audience. That's the discounted price. You're giving them maybe at at um, at 20% of the, the price you're going to be charging. Ask them to join on your journey to building something awesome. That's what we call, the way we call them founding members. You are, They're helping you to create something awesome, right? And then they will be forever locked in at that discounted price, but will receive the new value you add to the course or membership. That's a benefit that you're going to give them. You tell them that I'm going to, you're going to help me to build the course now, but the benefit is that I'm going to keep changing the course. I'm going to keep adding new material and you, you're you not going to have to pay anything else afterwards. You're, you're going to keep it locked at that. If it's a membership, 
let's say that they will they are not going to have to you're not going to have to pay a higher price but they'll be locked in at that specific amount that uh, you charge them from the start so that's how a beta launch works you don't actually have to have a big audience you can give people a discounted price and then they'll be willing to actually jump in and you get the testimonials you get results and then you use that to actually launch your course the second method is what we call the sideways sales letter or the jeff walker product launch uh, formula and so the way that it works is that you create three different videos that address specific pain points of your audience you invite your audience to watch these videos but on separate days right and then each video will represent a problem and a solution you solve building up your credibility as an authority and then each video should have an option for comments below to build community and credibility and then the third video will lead into the sale with links to the sales page and let me just show you exactly what that looks like so what you do is that you come up with three different videos that cover a specific topic or helps them to achieve a very specific result for example i then come up with a page that looks something like this and i've got a, a big heading right here which says how to you mentioned the specific result that you are able to help your audience to get how to help um, business coaches to gain new clients without having to do tons of cold email or cold calls using for example linkedin uh, and then maybe i can say within one week i am addressing the pain points i am I'm calling out who exactly I am trying to help. I'm, I'm also mentioning like the methods that I'm able to, to use. Uh, and then also like the time frame. You just come up with this. You just fill in the blank there. And so that is just a, an enticing message. And then you are inviting people and just saying to them, hey, I've got a challenge or I've got a series where I'm training people how to do A, B, C, D without the pain of this and in whatever time frame. And then you then create three separate videos that address this main issue here for example if i'm trying to help coaches to gain more clients um maybe the first video i will create as you can see there are three different uh, boxes here these are examples of this is where your videos are going to be as you can see this one says it's coming soon and it's locked this one is coming soon and it's locked and i'll explain how what, why that is important and what exactly that means so you just create three different videos for example i can say maybe on the first day my first video is going to be before you start looking for clients you need to have a solid offer Video number two is now that you have got a solid offer, you need to identify where to find your clients. Then video number three is how exactly do you reach out to your clients, right? Those are examples of three different videos. On the first day, what I'll then do is that I will then send a link to for people to watch the first video. As you can see here, they will watch this video. It's going to give them valuable content. They will see that there are other videos, but they cannot watch the videos immediately. They have to wait until the next day or maybe um, two days later. The reason why is firstly, you want to give people value. But aside from giving people value, you want to build trust and trust gets built over a period of time. If you receive content from me today, you might see that, okay, this guy has got valuable content. But before you make a buying decision, you have there has to be a level of trust between us and trust gets built over a period of time. That's why you're creating three separate videos and you'll be sending them out on different days. On the next video, like where it says video two here, they will be able to access video two and video one, but they won't be able to access video three because they have to wait for time to pass. And that's the basic concept of using this Jeff Walker launch. So people will be able to click play here and watch the valuable content that you have created from them for them sorry and then there'll be an option for them to actually download like maybe your slideshows or your notes um, so that they can actually read through that uh, for themselves and then right here at the bottom there'll be an option for people to actually make comments within your video within all your videos you want to encourage people to ask questions and make comments that will help you in a, in a couple of different ways first and foremost it will cause interaction and build your credibility when someone comes to your page for the first time and they see that maybe 300 other people or 200 other people have actually been commented, it convinces them that you are someone worth trusting. It, it tells them that you are actually someone who is credible. And also secondly, when people make comments and then you respond to their comments directly, it gives you an opportunity for you to actually 
talk to people, find out what they're struggling with, answer their questions. And some people might actually just start asking you for your help and directly, they might want to reach out to you personally. You might actually get some clients uh, from that. So this community aspect here, by creating comments, you're actually creating that opportunity for you to start interacting with people and people will know you more, they will like you, and then they will trust you. And then the other thing that you'll be doing in all these different videos, you keep reminding people that you are building up to something or that they, you have something that you have prepared for them. And they have to keep watching the next video for you, for them to find out what that is. And basically that thing that you are preparing for them is your course. On the last day, on the third video, are then going to put a link somewhere, like for example, right here at the bottom, where you tell them that if you want to sign up for me to actually help you or to actually train you or to buy my course on how to get this specific result, click here and they will click and they will go to your sales page, right? They will go to a sales page where they actually can buy your course. So that's how it actually works when you are using the Jeff Walker type of launch. And then this also allows or gives you a uh, permission to sell to people. Once people have received value from you over a period of time, you then now have permission to actually sell to them. The third method is what's called the five day challenge. And these are quite commonly used in this format. What you do is that you invite your audience to a five day challenge of live video trainings. And this can be done, for example, using a Facebook group, or this can be done using Zoom. You simply share the link with people, people log in, and then you start sharing some valuable content with them. And like using the previous uh, example that I gave you, whereby you have got a, a title or something that you're inviting people to gain a specific result, you tell people, I'm going to help you over these five days to maybe gain clarity on how to find your clients or whatever it is that your, your, your course is going to be about. So you are sharing value over a period of time once again. And then you help them to achieve a very specific result that they want within those five days. You give value on each day using live video and you show yourself as an authority. You answer questions that people ask, right? People are gonna be asking so many different questions in the, in the comment sections. You actually can stop and answer someone's questions specifically. And the more and more you keep answering questions, the more and more you are giving value, people will see you as someone who is worth trusting. You want people to know you, to like you and trust you. And then eventually they're going to be willing to buy from you. On the last day, that's when you mentioned that, hey guys, actually this is um, some of the content that is part of my training or part of my course. And you can buy my course. You give them the link to buy the course and then they go and they buy your course. The fourth way that you can actually launch your online course is by using what's called an email launch. And so the way that an email launch works is that firstly, um, you can use this to build up your audience. How? By creating a lead magnet that people can access when they submit um, their email. For example, you just tell people, hey guys, I want to help you to uh, achieve A, B, C, D. Then because it's something that people are very much interested in, they're going to download that lead magnet. But now because they've downloaded it and now you have got their emails, you then can create an email sequence that nurtures your audience and links to your sales page. You just maybe create like a, a series of emails over maybe let's say eight days to about 12 days. I don't really recommend more than that, longer than that. But let's just say like up to about eight days. And each day you are sending a piece of valuable content to them. That is helping them to know you, like you, and trust you. And so each valuable content will make reference a bit to your upcoming course or to the course that you have. Uh, now, you can actually create the value within the email, right, within itself, in terms of like you type out the value that you're sharing with people, or within the email, you can just link up to like some videos that they actually can uh, watch so that they can actually get the value. But the whole point is that you want to be sending emails to them every single day uh, over the period of time that you have selected. And then you are just giving them value and then eventually you are leading them to your sales page where they then can actually buy your course. And like I always, like I mentioned earlier on, the more you do it over a period of time, you're building the trust factor. After a few days of giving free value, introduce and sell your course with the link to your sales page attached. The fifth way to actually launch a course is by using a live webinar, right? And I'm sure you probably have seen this. You just basically create a live webinar using Zoom, Webinar Jam. There's so many different other platforms that you can use. So you just simply set a date and then invite people to register to attend your webinar. And then during that webinar, you give value and then you pitch your offer at the end of 
the webinar. You're just giving lots of value. You're helping people to see that, okay, this is actually possible. And then you pitch and say that, okay, this is uh, something that I actually have as a course and you can buy it here. Then you maybe like your button appears there and then people click on the button and then they buy. So that's one of the most commonly ways to actually sell. So afterwards, now you have, you've, you've done your, your webinar live, you then create a replay video. In other words, like you are recording that live webinar. Once it's done, you put it somewhere, like for example, on your website, and then there's a replay for the people who registered but were not able to show up on time. And then you send them an email saying that, okay, in case you missed it, here's the link to watch the, the replay right and then obviously afterwards they you then start sending them like some emails just to remind them okay uh if you've watched the webinar my my course is available and you can buy it you're going to be sending a couple of emails reminding them of that then the last method to actually launch a course is by doing a mini course right you've got your main course or your signature course but then you create a mini course right and a mini course is uh, a replica of your main course, except that it has got limited value. For example, I can teach people how to, the example I was using earlier is coaches, how to get more clients. I can then create a mini course and say that, okay, my mini course will explain the methods of getting clients, but I won't actually show the how. I'll just mention like, okay, method number one is you use Instagram and I'll show how I've been using Instagram to get clients. Uh, I'll show maybe examples of some other people, right? But I won't explain how exactly. I just show that this is what I'm doing and these are the results that I'm getting. I move on to the next thing and I say maybe LinkedIn, then I say maybe Facebook, whatever other platform, but I'm not necessarily showing them how to, how exactly do I go in there into Instagram? I just show them maybe a post or an advert that I did on Instagram, but I don't teach them necessarily how to create an advert. So it's a mini course explaining uh, in small detail what is possible or showing them the methods that they should be using. And then I then tell them that, hey, okay, here I was just showing you what's possible, but you need to get my course in order for you to get the main value, in order for you to be able to see the specific how to, right? So you give value, but you create new questions that can only be answered in your main course. And then you give your audience a taste of what you can do. You want them to, to get to get a feeling of, okay, this is what Marshall is able to do for me. This is what um, this is what it feels like to actually work with you in your course. And then within like your course, you're gonna be like mentioning it and you're gonna also be inserting links to your sales page for people to actually buy your course. So yeah, those are the six ways that you actually can launch your course effectively. These are methods that people are using all over the world and they're getting uh, tons of results. So what's next for you? The next step is simply for you to execute. You simply choose one of the launch methods that I mentioned, you stick with it, you learn it, you figure it out, and then you just simply launch. You will gain results, you will get results. If you need assistance with actually implementing this, I offer this as a paid service. And I help you to gain clarity on what your next steps are, right? Uh, I show you how to build your audience, I also help you to, to develop and the write the message, the messaging that will help you to attract people who are actually buyers. And I also help you to like figure out the tools that you need, such as payment gateways, uh, websites, uh, the website that you're going to be using for hosting your course, where exactly like people are going to gain access to your course. I'm going to help you to build up sales pages. I'm going to help you to build your email list all that stuff, the good stuff, I actually help you to off, I actually help you to um, set that up. And so if you're interested in that, if you're interested in, in me actually helping you, I'll remind you again, once again, this is a paid service that I offer. If you're interested in me actually helping you to do that, all you have to do is simply book a call with me. There's a link below this video, or there's a button below this video. Just click on that button and book a free call with me. And I'm just going to talk with you over a period of about 15 minutes. And I'm just going to help you to gain clarity on what you need to do next. But otherwise, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it's helped you to figure out what you need to do next. Launch your next course and launch your way to success. All the best. Uh, take care.